When your baby cries, what should you do first? And what if that doesn't work? I'll share soothing techniques to help you keep your baby happy and sleeping better, step by step. Okay, let's check and see what's going on down here. The first things most parents do when their baby is crying are to check the diaper or to offer a bit more to eat. And many fussy babies are ready to relax after an extra ounce of milk. There you go, you're okay. But if those don't work, you might want to try a stroll outside or some skin to skin cuddling or even a bit of infant massage. But what if you do all that and your baby is still wailing? Then it's time to imitate your womb, to switch on your little one's calming reflex. The baby's held 24 7 in the womb. The baby's constantly rocked, constantly shushed, constantly fed. Well, hi. Five tried and true ways to mimic the womb and flip on the calming reflex are what I call the five S's. Let's do the swaddling. This is down, up, down, up. Swaddling is the first S, and it's the cornerstone of calming. But you've got to avoid overheating your baby and loose blankets. Although the arms will be snug and straight, the hips should have a little bend in them. Don't worry if your baby initially struggles against the wrap. Babies usually calm quickly as soon as you add some of the other S's. Now I roll you to your tummy. The second S is the side stomach position. And that means rolling a baby towards the side or stomach. The back is the only safe position for sleeping. But it's the worst position for soothing a fussy baby. The third S is shushing or strong white noise. Remember, the sound in the womb is as loud as a vacuum. And we'll try a little jiggling motion. The fourth S is swinging or rhythmic motion. Your infant may prefer bouncy moves or sweet, slow rocking, but always support the head and neck. <laughs> Finally, the fifth S, sucking, is the icing on the cake. Sucking on a nipple, pacifier, or even your clean finger can help your baby settle into deep relaxation. The key to success with the five S's is do them correctly. Swaddle too loosely, and your baby may cry more. Shush too softly, and nothing happens. This may sound odd, but remember the five S's work by triggering a reflex, and reflexes only work when you trigger them correctly. If you're doing the five S's right, and your baby still doesn't calm, or whenever your baby's crying makes you worried, it's always wise to call the doctor to make sure there's no medical problem. With an understanding of the basic principles that are simple and natural, along with a little practice, you'll quickly help your little one be the happiest baby on your block. For WebMD, I'm Dr. Harvey Karp.